Good evening, and welcome to the virtual broadcast of Illinois Legal Aid Online's The Light in the Night. My name is Jackie McLaughlin. I'm the Executive Vice President and Chief Legal Officer at UL Solutions, and I'm honored to be this year's benefit chair. Tonight, we celebrate the impact Illinois Legal Aid Online, or ALEO, makes on the lives of everyday people. ALEO provides critical legal help to more than 3 million people each year, many who find ALEO via their mobile in the dead of the night. In their darkest hours, ALEO is a light in the night for people looking for help and for hope. ALEO believes in equitable justice, especially for those who cannot find or afford a lawyer. ALEO empowers people to use the law to get the justice they seek. ALEO believes that many people, given the right guidance and tools, can be their own best advocates. By distilling the complicated laws into plain language concepts and practical steps, ALEO makes opportunities for justice real. ALEO equips Illinoisans with the tools they need to understand and enforce their legal rights. These are honest, hard workers and caring parents, like Courtney. In a few minutes, you will hear how Courtney has partnered with ALEO on her years-long legal journey to provide stability for her family. We will also honor two individuals for their commitment to social justice and ALEO's mission and legacy. But first, let's raise our glasses and toast ALEO awardees, benefit sponsors, and most of all, those people who partner with ALEO to advocate for themselves and their loved ones. Cheers. I now welcome Heather Russell, Executive Vice President and Chief Legal Officer, TransUnion, ALEO board member and past benefit chair. Heather? Thank you, Jackie. As Jackie mentioned, I serve on ALEO's board of directors and I chaired the quite successful 2019 annual benefit. Through these leadership roles, I learned of ALEO's mission and impact and am now privileged to be an ALEO director and ambassador. This year, we received exceptional support from individuals, law firms, vendors, and corporations who committed to the light in the night as benefit sponsors. Tonight, I'd like to acknowledge our extraordinary and philanthropic justice level sponsors. Jenner and Block, Kaplan, Hecker and Fink, Kirkland and Ellis, Latham and Watkins, Loeb and Loeb, Quilling, Sealander, Lowndes, Winslet and Moser, Reed Smith, Sidley, Simpson, Thatcher and Bartlett, Scadden, and Winston and Strawn. I'd also like to thank our remarkable and generous equity level sponsors, Greenberg Trorick, Perkins Cooey, Shuckett and Associates, Safarth, and UL Solutions. In addition, we thank our eight integrity sponsors and our 16 dignity sponsors. We are so grateful for the support of all 38 of our sponsors. On behalf of the board and myself personally, I thank each of them for their commitment and generosity. Each of you keep Aleo's light in the night burning. Now I'd like to turn the camera over to Dave Hamburger, Aleo's board chair, and Chief Information Officer at Chapman and Cutler. Thank you, Heather, for your exceptional leadership and advocacy. And thank you again to the generous sponsors who keep the Aleo's engines humming. I want to also acknowledge you, our virtual guests, who are watching from all over Illinois, as well as Indiana, Texas, Florida, New York, and beyond. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the positive impact Aleo makes in the lives of people across Illinois and beyond. For 21 years, Aleo has been the light in the night by breaking down barriers to justice. When Aleo was formed in 2001, only 55% of American adults use the internet. Apple hadn't yet released its iPod. It would be six years later when they released the first iPhone. Aleo's website in that first year had 297,000 visits. Today, Americans use the internet, 100% of Americans use the internet, and Aleo's website earned 4.5 million visits a year. While technology continues to change, systematic barriers to justice such as race, language, income, and education remain. The pandemic has exposed the deep inequities of our society and legal system and demonstrated Aleo's importance. 
With your help, we can continue our life-changing work. Your generous support ensures that Aleo's mission to open opportunities for people to get justice is achievable. To make your donation, text DONATE22, all one word, DONATE22, to 50155. Please know that contributions of any amount make a difference. With your support tonight, we will better align Oleo's legal tools with the ongoing needs of those for whom the justice system was not designed and for whom few other resources exist. As you will soon hear from Courtney, her engagement with Oleo was not a single visit. She returned to Oleo again and again as she navigated through a divorce and post-judgment issues. But before we hear from Courtney, let's take a listen to how Aleo's mission and vision resonates with our partners, volunteers, and colleagues. Good evening. My name is Jonathan Fetterman. I am senior counsel at Gordon Reese Scully Mansukani, an adjunct professor of law at University of Illinois Chicago, and a member of Aleo's Young Professional Board, or the YPB. About eight years ago, I first heard about Aleo at an American Bar Association event. Attendees touted Aleo as an innovative not nonprofit, leveraging technology to help those who cannot afford attorneys, and as a model for other states to follow. Soon after, I was invited to the YPB's Beer and Cheese fundraiser. It was a great party with great people, and it had a mission and a vision that aligned with my values as a well-respected legal nonprofit. So I joined the YPB. Seven years later, my commitment to the YPB and Aleo is stronger than ever. Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Giving my time and resources to Aleo and the YPB helps give me life. Without Aleo, people may never learn about their legal rights and how to enforce them. Aleo equips Illinoisans with tools to improve their lives anytime, day or night. Although we may not know each other yet, Aleo's mission unites and inspires us. Please join me in supporting this great organization. Welcome to the light in the night. My name is Maria Pellegrini. I'm an attorney, a stay-at-home mom, and an Aleo volunteer. Anyone who follows current events knows that the law is ever-changing. With services that address hundreds of common legal issues, Aleo relies on nearly 200 volunteers, legal professionals like me, to draft, review, and revise its content to ensure legal accuracy. I discovered Aleo when attending law school in Chicago. I volunteer for Aleo now because I want to ensure that people have the information and tools they need to effectively navigate our complicated legal system. For 21 years, Aleo has opened opportunities to justice so that people can resolve their problems, especially those with the least access to the justice system. The very best part about volunteering at Aleo is knowing that I am providing help and hope to those looking to resolve critical legal problems like eviction, debt, foreclosure, and domestic abuse. The product of my volunteer work is used by literally hundreds of people each day. While none of us can make improvements to the, our legal system alone, we can each make a difference, one contribution at a time. Thank you. Welcome to the Night in the Light. Thank you for being part of this special event. I'm Gwen Daniels, Aleo's Deputy Director, and I just celebrated my 18th anniversary at Aleo, which we refer to as an Aleoversary. People often ask me why I remain at Aleo. There are lots of reasons. Over the past 21 years, Aleo has continually evolved and grown, making it a dynamic place to make my mark. One constant, however, is Aleo's belief that justice is equitable, and should be as attainable for people who cannot afford lawyers as for those who can. I've witnessed how the impact of our legal tools and services have transformed people's lives for the better. Also, I have great colleagues. And while our team is a diverse set of individuals with different lived experiences, we share a passion for making the law accessible, especially to those for whom justice is scarcest. Legal problems do not often solve themselves in a day or a week. Aleo empowers people to self-advocate along the length of their legal journey. 
We want to better support people with legal issues, partnering with them to get to resolution, like we did with Courtney. Now it's time to hear from Courtney and learn how Aleo helped to ease her legal journey, walking with her step-by-step step along the way. Walking with someone on their legal journey is crucial for a number of reasons. Most importantly, a legal issue takes time to figure out and to resolve. It takes multiple steps to go through and people need support along the way. One of the things that we would like to focus more on is ensuring that people have that support for each one of those steps. Well, <laughs> I have been on a legal journey for several years now. It originally started in 2016, and it really started with just seeking child support for my daughter. I was separated from my husband at the time and living out of state, and so I filed a claim at the Illinois Department of Health and Family Services, and that <laughs> was a daunting process for someone who had never gone through this before. Since then, there's been, um, of course, a divorce and tons of post-decree conflict. So it's been quite a road. In February 2017, the judge in my case appointed a guardian ad litem, and I didn't know what a guardian ad litem was, and I knew if my lawyer explained it to me, that would be costing me money. And so I remember sharing that with my mom, and she sent me an Aleo link. That link just became my Bible. The thing about family law that's different than most other kinds of law is it keeps changing if there are children involved as the children change. And they grow up and their needs change, a parent changes, their job changes, where they want to live changes. You keep coming back to court for so many different issues until the child's 18. And even then there might be college expenses. So it's one of the longest ongoing, if not the longest ongoing kind of case. We had lots of issues with parenting time and safety and out-of-state visits and all of that. And so it helped me filter what I needed to say, not only to the guardian ad litem, but to my attorney, so that whenever I was meeting with them, those minutes were more impactful. I had done that homework already, and Aleo helped me do that. After our divorce had been final for three years, one of which had been a year of the COVID-19 pandemic. My ex-husband filed a petition to modify the parenting schedule. I had been asking for temporary relief just, you know, to feel a little sane in a very insane world and a very uncertain time. I knew that I couldn't afford a lawyer. At the time, I was still paying for my private attorney and the debt that that caused. And so I was pro se. He was represented, and again, Aleo became a site that I continued to go to to try to find a strategy, try to find a way through. In a family law case, if someone's representing themselves pro se without an attorney, the benefit, I think, of Aleo is you can get one overarching article, but then there will be many subparts that you can go to for each part of the divorce as you deal with it because too much information at the start can just be overwhelming and shut someone down. And the ability to be able to look at your particular spot on your journey is really helpful. I learned that I had rights from the Aleo site. Every time that the judge would make another court date, every time that things were progressing, I was going back to Aleo to make sure that I was on the right track, to make sure I understood not only what I was asking for, but also what was next or what the other side might come up with. And Aleo helped me do that. The thing that most impressed me about Courtney was what an amazing advocate she was for herself and her family. And she persisted. When Terry reached out to me and asked me to share my journey with the Aleo community, I was scared and happy at the same time. I thought about all that I had been through and 
At first I thought, well, that's embarrassing. But then I also thought about just the great debt that I owe to Aleo. And I thought about how this would be a wonderful way, a courageous way for me to give back just a portion of what has been given to me and take the chance to help someone else. All right, good evening for my friends watching at home this evening and for all of your support for Illinois Legal Aid Online. I'm live here on Thursday night and we've just wrapped up this amazing light in the night benefit and we have raised some incredible money. But we're just oh so short of our goal here tonight, which is to raise $70,000. And we've raised so far $59,000. So if you watching at home, if you have the opportunity to dig into that wallet, that pocketbook, and give just a little bit more support to Illinois Legal Aid Online to help light the night for somebody in need, somebody who's looking for those answers when they have questions and needs. If you can do that and help us reach this goal of $70,000 here tonight, we would be so thankful. The Illinois Legal Aid Online is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week for those in need. And over 27 people each and every night between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. pick up their phone and turn to Aleo because they can't sleep. And so you have that opportunity to be their light in the night. And so I once again hope that you will dig deep and help us reach our $70,000 goal for Illinois Legal Aid Online and that you'll be somebody's light in the night. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, on behalf of Aleo, um, the board, the staff, thank you so much for your generosity. Your contributions will help Aleo better support people throughout their legal journey. And tonight, I have the honor of introducing our early adopter awardee, Marion Brooks. Aleo created its early adopter award in recognition of the organization's forward thinking approach. Aleo itself was an early adopter, starting more than 20 years ago, the same year as LegalZoom and Wikipedia. When Aleo began, even though only 55% of American adults uh, use the internet, our founders recognized its potential and seized the opportunity. The Early Adopter Award pays tribute to leaders who are innovators in their field and recognizes those who embrace the challenge uh, of change and influence societal transformation through vis visionary thinking. Early adopters pioneer new initiatives and are the embodiment of the successful use of new ideas. Tonight's honoree, Marion Brooks, is an award-winning anchor and reporter at NBC5. She anchors the NBC5 News weekdays at 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. and is a member of NBC5's Investigates team. Brooks' passion is for reporting and storytelling. In her investigative work, she has been drawn to social and criminal justice issues. That focus inspired her to update and add context to the story of Emmett Till in the documentary, A Loss, The Lost Story of Emmett Till, The Universal Child. And in the wake of the racial unrest after the murder of George Floyd, Brooks spearheaded NBC5's Race in Chicago initiatives. The multi-platform project included Say the Word, Say the Name a digital series of first-person accounts of experiences with racism, as well as a reading of names of people who died in racially motivated killings. The Race in Chicago television series earned Brooks and her co-producers a national recognition, including a Gracie Award, for her commitment to, story, to telling stories of resilience that demonstrates the necessity of diversity, equity, and inclusion. We are honored to present the 2022 Early Adopter Award to Marion Brooks. And while she couldn't be here tonight, she did record an acceptance speech. I am so honored to accept the Early Adopter Award from you here at Illinois Legal Aid Online. Your motto, we simplify the law so you can get justice, is apt and your mission is so important. 
I've had a passion for issues relating to social and criminal justice my entire career, giving voice to the voiceless, raising awareness about disparities, adding context to issues facing marginalized communities, all to help educate and increase understanding is part of my mission. And I'm drawn to this work because as an African-American woman, these issues directly affect me, my family, and members of my community. There are systemic reasons for many disparities, and systemic issues are important to tackle, but many marginalized folks are just trying to live their own lives to the fullest and get through the day. They need access to services that won't cost them time out of work or it won't cost them to get childcare. They need access that should be available, access to resources and information and guidance. That is part of what we do at NBC Chicago in our reporting, and it's clearly part of what Illinois Legal Aid Online does as well. I'm so impressed with the user-friendly website that guides one to potentially life-saving help. The concept behind Illinois Legal Aid Online is so simple, it's brilliant. It can be as even the most educated, well-connected people have trouble navigating the legal system. Imagine trying to do that and not having command of the language or not being able to get to the courthouse during business hours because you can't miss work and you can't afford to take time off. There are so many barriers to accessing deserved services in our government and legal system. We all need outlets like Illinois Legal Aid Online. It is access to services, resources, and information that can empower people to self-advocacy. It is a portal to justice, and that's powerful. That's important. I thank you at Illinois Legal Aid Online for your work, and I thank you for thinking of me for this award. I am honored and humbled. Each year, Illinois Legal Aid Online presents the Legacy Award to an individual or an entity who has made a lifelong commitment to, to ILEO in the furtherance of its mission. Uh, I was honored to receive this award three years ago, and as a prior recipient, it's my honor again to present the award tonight to my friend Todd Flaming. In his day job, Todd is an entrepreneur, legal authority, teacher, and mentor, and now newly retired from all of those things. But he's also a longtime ILEO evangelist who served on its board of directors from 2008 to 2017. Todd served as the board chair for three years during that term, uh, during a time of enormous growth for ILEO. On Todd's watch, we went from a $750,000 a year organization to a $1.6 million organization. Um, he cultivated Aleo's board from a small collection of individuals into a robust team united in its goals. Todd was a star recruiter, and many of Aleo's board members can trace their involvement directly or indirectly to Todd. I'm one of those people. Todd recruited me to the board and eventually handed the reins to me when I succeeded him as chair. Aleo was a natural fit for Todd, as it fed his passions for both technology and law. I remember his excitement when he called to tell me about this incredible organization that works at the intersection of those passions. He also knew I couldn't resist that combination either, so he set the hook, and he and Lisa Colpoise reeled me in, um, and here I stand before you. Um, Todd's energy and passion helped push the organization forward and encourage us to take risks, expand our reach, and find new ways to reach the people who need help the most. Aleo wouldn't be what it is today if not for Todd and the board members he recruited to carry on the work after his term was over. Todd's hustle, advocacy, and expertise helped Aleo to get to where it is today with a robust network of supporters in the legal community. Even after terming off of Aleo's board, Todd continued and continues, as he demonstrated tonight, to generously support Aleo's mission. So on behalf of the past and current staff and board members, thank you, Todd, for your contributions. The award inscription reads, uh, for his exceptional contributions in growing Aleo's network and resilience, I am honored to present the 2022 Legacy Award to Todd Flanning. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm supposed to read from a script. Uh, but it's gone. So I'll just talk off the top of my head, and now they're nervous. Uh, I am honored and humbled to receive this award, uh, which basically, from my understanding, is an award for being around for a long time. Congratulations, Marcelo, for getting there first. He, uh, Marcelo thanked me 
for showing up dressed for the occasion. I wanted to point out that I not wear my flamingos and palm trees shirt. So, you know, you're welcome. Um, um, he, my memory of the time frame was a little bit different, but basically, I remember one day in my office uh, when I got a call from Ruth Ann Schmidt. Some of you may still know her. Uh, she was at the Lawyer's Trust Fund for a long time. And she said, I used to say she asked me to be on the board, but really, she called, called me and told me, I'm putting you on the board of this new organization that's coming out of an incubator at Chicago Kent. And she explained to me what it was, and so I was excited to join, because like Marcelo, I was kind of a nerd, also a lawyer, but, and I thought this would be a great you know, opportunity to do something really useful with technology and law. Ileo is um, really special to me as, as charitable organizations go, and the reason is, Ileo's trying to solve a problem that you know, no other legal organization, charitable organization can really solve. And what is that problem? The problem is there's so much need and there's so little money and so few resources. We all know we have to do pro bono work and we, we like to do it, but we're also pressured to do you know, a variety of things that we have to get paid for. And there just isn't enough, um, there aren't enough resources to go around for this. Eleo solves that problem. Eleo recognizes that we can provide information to people and let them take care of their own problems. It's an extremely efficient way to spend money to solve the problem of too few resources and too much need. So, you know, I figure this is one of the best ways you can spend your money. If you really want to help people, give money to Aleo every year. I was excited to see how many paddles went up, but what I'd like you to do, to consider doing, is making it a regular donation, even if it's only 100 bucks. You know, at the end of the year, when it comes around to your gift giving and you look at your finances and you say, I got a little money, please write a $100 check to Aleo or a $1,000 check, or where is that guy, the, the auctioneer? Or a $10,000 check to Ileo, which would be very impressive. Anyway, I wanna thank you again. I'm very humbled for this award and, and honored, and I hope you can continue to support this organization. Thanks. Congratulations, Marion and Todd, and thank you for your substantial contributions to Ileo and social justice. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Sean Kruskal and I'm honored to be the vice chair of Aleo's board of directors. On behalf of Aleo and the individuals we help help themselves, we are grateful to you for joining us tonight. The words and the stories that you have heard tonight are powerful and heartfelt. You have learned how Aleo makes a difference in people's lives. As you support Aleo in being the light in the night, you join hundreds of stakeholders who partner with us to ensure that everyone gets opportunities for justice that they seek. As the members of our community know, words matter. The words we hear from those who partner with Aleo to overcome their legal problems inspire us. These words motivate us to do better and to work harder. I am asking you now to give. Your donations are important and allow us to continue and expand our critical work. So please pull out your cell phones and text donate to two, all one word, all lowercase, to 50155. Again, that's donate to two, all one word, to 50155. Your support today can provide justice tomorrow. Thank you for staying with us. And as we bring our night to a close, please welcome Terry Ross. Thank you, Sean, for your words and for all you have done to further Aleo's mission. Thank you again to our justice sponsors. Jenner and Block, Kaplan, Hecker, and Fink, Kirkland and Ellis, Latham and Watkins, Loeb and Loeb, Quilling, Sealander, Lowndes, Winslet, and Mosher, Reed Smith, Sidley, Simpson, Thacker, and Bartlett, Scadden, Winston, and Strong, and our remarkable and generous equity level sponsors, Greenberg, Trorig, Perkins Cooey, Safe Barth, Shuckett and Associates, UL Solutions, and to all our other sponsors, thank you. You are the light in the night. Each day we celebrate the strength and the courage of those Aleo serves. 
through your contributions, you impact people's lives, especially those parents, workers, renters, anyone who wakes up at 3 a.m. feeling anxious, worried, in despair, people who can't wait until 9 a.m. when an office or phone line opens, people who reach for their mobile phone in the dark and find Aleo. With your support, Aleo makes justice possible 24 seven for people in need. Thank you for helping us be the light in the night to those with nowhere else to turn. With peace and justice, good night.